This is a very impressive engine compartment of a 1968 Camaro. This guy's no normal 68 Camaro rebuild. Uh, this thing has a 383 stroker motor in it, Elbrock chromed uh, air gap dual plane intake manifold on it, Edelbrock carburetor, Edelbrock aluminum heads on it. It has a complete march system, which you can't see right now in this video, but Devin will show you some uh, high definition pictures of it. Complete march drive system in the front, serpentine belt, including the air conditioning, air conditioning uh, compressor. It has power steering, it has power brakes, it has a set of tall aluminum valve pan covers because of the roller rocker arms on the car. Has a four pass aluminum radiator in it with a, an electric fan and uh, the correct shrouding that goes along with it. The headers are a larger tube header system. They look like about inch and three quarter primary tubes on it, um, and they are a long tube header system. But they are, instead of being ceramic coated, these guys are uh, individually wrapped with uh, high temp uh, uh, tape, fiberglass tape, good insulating tape. Uh, Optima battery, um, the fender panels on the inside are semi-flat black just as they should be, new stainless steel brake lines going toward the back, a dual stage master cylinder, uh, brake separator also on it. This is a very, very impressive engine compartment in this thing, aluminum uh, water pump that goes along with it with the standoffs for the uh, March drive system. Uh, this thing has money just reeking out of it everywhere. Uh, SS uh, filler panel in the front, polished uh, stainless from what I can see. The um, air cleaner is a 14 inch unsilenced uh, Chevrolet air cleaner. And if you notice the air cleaner, even the uh, uh, wing nut on the top is Chevrolet and it matches the valve pan covers also. The air cleaner and the valve pan covers match. Very, very high end engine compartment. This motor is making some very serious horsepower. Uh, I don't know, I don't have any dyno sheets for it, but I'm sure it's up into the uh, middle fours somewhere. It is a 383 stroker, everything's fresh on it, uh, the car is very professionally done, and with all the amenities that this has and the add-ons on, add like the March system, um, fantastic, fantastic engine compartment. Let's show you the rest of the car now. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we have a really neat looking Camaro for you, 1968 SS style Camaro. Uh, hard to authenticate the SS uh, deal on it, but uh, uh, this particular guy has a 383 stroker in it and it's an overachiever. But we're going to go over the aesthetics outside for you and then you'll see the undercarriage and the drive and everything else that we present. So let, let's take a look at it. Fantastic paint, fantastic color. It's a bright bluish green color. It, it's more green, I guess, than blue, but it just radiates. It, it, it's a fantastic high quality paint job on this vehicle. And look at the fit and finish on this thing. It cannot possibly get any better than this. This is... <laughs> and again, the paint on this thing. It's got a two inch rise uh, collar induction hood on it. Non-functional uh, the hood itself would be functional if you put the big air cleaner on it that would made up to the hood. A lot of guys leave that off for aesthetic purposes. So the motor looks a lot cleaner and a lot neater with just a 14 inch uh, GM air cleaner on it. And that's the way this is. But it could be made functionally if you wanted it to. Header panel the same as the hood. The paint is absolutely silk smooth on this. Absolutely fantastic. Grill area itself, trim around the grill. Absolutely does not get any better than that. Parking lights, lenses are really nice and original. SS designation on the front. The plastic in the grill is real nice. No chips or marks on it anywhere from stones being thrown up through the years. Uh, filler panel on the front. Really nice, no chips, no marks, and nice linearity to it also. It, it just fits absolutely precise. Front bumper fitment. That is as good as you'll ever find a bumper fit. That is right on, it is absolutely spot on. Of course, it does have a uh, front spoiler on it. The um, front fascia has no pulls or dents or marks or anything on it anywhere. Absolutely none. Has a unique set of headlights on it. I mean, they are so unique, in fact, 
going to get Devin to turn them on to show you what they uh, what they look like. This area around here lights up bluish green like the car and then it has a set of high intensity I'm going to address our quartz iodine uh, headlights themselves fantastic bright headlight system um, car looks great with it looks absolutely fantastic front end of this car is just exemplary I can't even there's not a single deviation anywhere there's not a single mark a chip a scuff a ding nothing Let's see if we can find something on the driver's side. Okay, driver's side of our 68 Camaro. I love this color. This color is absolutely fantastic. It just jumps out at you. There's a lot of red ones, white ones, black ones, but this is just so unique and such a really fantastic color. 383. Side marker light in the front just the way it should be. The fender where it mates onto the front fascia. Really, really nice. Look at this. This is absolutely fantastic, the fitment of this car. Camaro SS designation on the front fender. Trim around the front window. No marks, no dinghies. Wiper arms and blades correct the way they should be. Had a dash, no deviations on it, no marks, no, no cracks, anything from uh, uh, age and from wear. VIN number crystal clear, dashboard transitions to the base of the windshield cannot be any nicer than it is. Really, really great clean fitment of everything so far. Correct style GM mirror in the front. Obviously it's got a vinyl top on it. Uh, I don't see any. There's no portions on it that are raised. There's no uh, uh, areas underneath of it that need attention. Drip rail. A little bit of a dinghy right here. Broom or something must have fallen against it there. Another one right here. A couple little tiny dinghies. Certainly nothing that would dictate you to change that. Tinted glass in the front from what I can well, Let me look at it. It looks tinted, but it doesn't have a sun fade to it. I don't know why. It does look like it's a little darker glass, so it's definitely darker on the side too. Uh, fitment of the window, the front window to the back window, look how nice that fits. Really, really nice. Trim around the window itself is really in great condition. Window wipes, whiskers, just as fresh and new as you'd ever hope to find them. Door handle the same way. Paint on the door. Look at this. That is spot on. You cannot get a door to fit a quarter panel on a Camaro any better than that. So we got the fitment in the front is good, fitment in the back is good. Uh, stainless trim, there's no marks or dinghies or dents on it whatsoever, absolutely none. That's about as nice a fit as you'd ever find. Quarter panel. Just tin everywhere, there's no uh, Blondo, no body filler in this guy for sure. Trim around the back window, same as it was on the front. Hat shelf is, uh, uh, it's, it's new. It's been replaced and there's two high-end uh, speakers in it to go along with the uh, upgraded radio that's in this system too. Uh, really great looking uh, uh, system that they have in the back. Interior, everything the way it fits. Trim around the uh, base of the uh, rear light where it transitions down to the uh, hat shelf, rack, whatever. Um, just as clean and nice and black as it can be. Really great system there. Trim around the base of the uh, vinyl top is really as nice as you'd ever want to hope to find. Side marker lamp in the back. Not a single mark in the front. Hood. Front fascia, front fender, door, quarter panel. Not a mark, not a chip, not a ding, not a deviation. This is as nice as it gets. Uh, 15 inch torque thrust style, aluminum polished wheels on BFG radial TAs. Everybody's choice of a tire on these cars right now. Rocker panel molding, again, you know, no heel dents or anything from people whacking it through the years. Just as laser straight as you'd ever hope to find. Uh, it's a great look at driver's side of the car. I don't see one little deviation in any part of it. Absolutely none. Let's look out back see what we can show you there. 
Okay, rear end of our 68 Camaro, SS Donna car. And the deck fits just like the hood does, right on the money. It cannot fit any better. Paint on this thing is just stunning. It's not average, it's not nice, it's stunning. Fantastic color. Rear spoiler, of course, we had one in the front, so you've got to have one back here. SS designation on the uh, uh, gas filler cap. Trim around the uh, lights in the back, just as sweet and nice as can be. Lens is really clean. This side's going to be the same way, I'm sure. This whole car is just a very high quality car. Lens is on this the same way. Rear bumper fitment. Precise. Just like the front one fit, the back one's the same way. You cannot get a bumper to fit any better or more precise than the front or back bumper on this car. So far, the fitment on this car is just exemplary. It's just, it's it's as nice a car as we've gone over. It, it's the cars are all nice. They all have a nice fit and finish to them. We make sure of that. But sometimes you have one that's just a little bit a notch above, and that's so far what we've found on this thing. Rear balance. No pull marks, no dinghies. Back end of this car is the same as the rest of it so far. The front end, the driver's side, and the back is all precise. The paint is flawless in every way. Uh, certainly much better than the driver quality paint job. This is as nice a paint as you could lay on a vehicle. It really is. One more side. Let's see what we can find over there. Okay, passenger side, our last side here. Okay, side marker lamp. Nice tight fitment the way it should be. I'm telling you, there's tin everywhere. Just the way it should be. Trim around the back window is just as nice as you'd want to find. Base of the vinyl top. Ah, I found something. This molding is not held on tight. I don't know why it's not holding, but whatever the issue is, Obviously, we have to address it. It's not, it's not tight. So we either have to get, looks like it needs a couple of new clips and then we'll be home free. Other than that, the morning's in nice shape. Drip rail is same as the other side, except this one doesn't have any broom marks against it. Glass, the way it fits, look how nice this glass fits. You could hit this thing with a fire hose and it would really get it in water. <laughs> Fantastic. Again, a trim at the top of the doors, the same way as the other side. Um, door handle, the chrome is flawless. Look, I can't believe how nice this car is. And the paint, I'm running my hands over this thing. It feels like it's silk. Really, really nice. Front fender to the door, the same way. And again, your rocker panel molding, no heel marks banged into them for any reason. Single mast antenna. Again, look. It just doesn't get any better than that. that that's as good as you'll ever get any car, whether it's a Camaro, uh, Nova, Cuda, Mustang, whatever. It's just not going to find anything fit any better than this car does. Camaro SS designation, again. Side marker lamp. 383 stroker motor, big hammer. Whatever the whole car, you just watch me do it. Other than a couple of small plastic clips that need to be replaced to hold that molding that uh, was loose and popped loose whenever I pulled on it, uh, that's it. I uh, didn't find any scratches, marks, dings, dents, um, imperfections in the paint, any fading or, or clouding in the paint whatsoever, absolutely none. Uh, it's a very, very high quality. This is not an average car. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very high-end restoration with all the mechanicals the same way. You know, you're going to see that it has that March Drive system on it, 383 stroker, aluminum heads, uh, chrome plated, uh, dual, state, dual plane uh, uh, Edelbrock manifold air gap, and uh, uh, everything has been addressed on this vehicle to make it as good as you can possibly make the 1968 Camaro SS style car. Uh, it presents itself well. It runs just as it looks. Uh, we did a video on this car. We just watched me go over the entire car 
And if there was a mark or if there was anything that I found, I would point it out, like the broom marks were you know, on the uh, drip rail and a piece of trim that needs to be addressed, neither of which are an issue. Um, and certainly they'll be done by the time we get the car uh, uh, ready for shipment. This is a fantastic buy. It's available here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, and we encourage everyone to come down and take a look at it. We'd love to meet you and show you the car in person. But if you can't, that's why we're doing these videos. And uh, Devin's going to show you 90 full-resolution, high-resolution um, photographs, still photos that you can blow up and take a look at. If there's any fly dirt, you can see it. So um, there's our presentation for the car. Hopefully you uh, uh, get a lot of information from it. And uh, it's available here at Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, this is the interior of our really special 1968 uh, Camaro SS-style car. Uh, it just doesn't get any better than this. I'll try to go over everything I can see. Um, drum tight headliner in it. If you notice, the lights do work. The dome light works and also the uh, passenger assist light for the rear here also works on the back of the console. Uh, staple type shifter, just the way it should be. A real wooden SS style wheel on it with the uh, tri-spokes, the tri-split spokes on it. Omega instruments in it. It has a tachometer, it has a speedometer, and it has a quadrant of gauges. Fuel, temp, amp, and uh, full. Wait a minute. Fuel, oil, temp, and volt. Yeah, four of them. Uh, does have air conditioning. Vents just the way they should be. Um, the way it would be from the factory, right above the... Uh, uh, controls and above the radio. It does have a General Motors style radio in it. No one's whacked this dash apart and put something uh, different in it. It has a GM style radio in it with two new rear seat speakers. Uh, the knobs on it are just as fresh and clean as can possibly be. The uh, door panels the same way. There's no uh, warpage whatsoever to them. The handles, the, the, the levers for uh, door actuation, they're new and, and just as shiny and chromy as can be. Same as the uh, passenger's door, a dash pad, like we said from the, the look on the top part, this part is the same way. There's no, uh, there's absolutely no uh, cracks or, or deviations in it whatsoever, absolutely none. The console has the uh, lumber on it just the way it should with the matching lumber on the uh, um, radiator, sur uh, radiator, radio surround and your uh, uh, heater air conditioning uh, um, controls. Pedals are like new. Uh, loop pile carpeting in it. Looks just like the day it left the factory. Seat belts in the front. Correct belts the way they should be. Uh, I don't see any seat belts in the back. They could be tucked in, but uh, we definitely have seat belts in the front. We always make sure that, that uh, uh, that's with every vehicle that we sell. The uh, side panels in the back are the same as the door panels. They are absolutely flawless. They cannot be any nicer than they are. Uh, houndstooth interior in it and nice padded seats. You can tell everything is new and fresh. There's a nice bounce to the seat. Uh, it's not sagging or, or back is the same way. Everything is all nice and fresh. The interior of this car presents itself just as the outside did. As new and fresh uh, a restoration as you could possibly find. The door jams themselves, everything is nice and clean, uh, the paint is nice on them, the rubbers are all nice and soft and resilient just the way they should be so that they're going to seal just as they should. The sun visors, uh, the stitching is nice and tight yet, not coming loose, day night mirror. The um, mirror doesn't have any bleeds or anything on it and this is the uh, polished stainless one also. Uh, armrests are the correct style molded armrests, not redone and repadded or anything or recovered. These are the original style uh, molded armrests that came in this car in 1968. SS floor mats for the front and for the rear. You got a complete set of floor mats with this vehicle also. You're just not going to find a vehicle that is in any finer condition than this particular 68 uh, uh, Camaro that we have. It's here available in Hangsters. Uh, it's a car that if you're in the market for a uh, first generation Camaro, you really should take a look at this one because it's going to be a little more money than uh, a lot of the Camaros out there, but it's a lot more car than most of the Camaros out there. you got a 383 Stroker in it. The car is just an exemplary car in every, every 
meaning of the, the, the term. It, it just, it, the paint, the fit, the finish, uh, the amenities on this car, the engine, the drive line, everything is top end on this car. You just can't find a nicer vehicle than this particular one. And it's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Okay, what do we have? We have our 68 uh, Camaro, teal, greenish blue color. Fantastic, fantastic car. I know the speedometer works. Uh, tachometer definitely is working. 383 stroke or sound strong. Oil temperature or oil pressure. You can see it's up where it should be. Temperature is just starting to rise. We just started it. Uh, fuel, we've got a little bit under a half a tank of fuel and the volts are charging up about 14 where they should be. Uh, fantastic car. Let's try our, our wipers. Wipers work just as they should. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the there is an indicator here. I have the left turn signal on, a little green light up in there. Just blinking away. Another one here for the right turn signal, just a blinking away, telling us it's actuating. Now, let's see. No, no more in there. Let's see if we have a horn button somewhere. No, I'm going to find a horn button. Horn doesn't work. Radio, I know, works. I don't know Pretty fancy radio in it. Um, air conditioning blows isopropyl. I do know that works. The fan, all the speeds work in the fan also. Well, let's go for a ride this guy, see what it looks like. Nice shifting car, nice and firm, nice clean shifts. Let's see how it Nice tight steering too, very responsive. Go down the road straight as an arrow, look, no hands. Going down the road. Still no hands, still going. Let's see if it stops straight too. Straight as can be. The brakes work incredibly well, unbelievably well. Wow. Good power brakes. All the gauges you can see function just like they should. It's running about 100 and 160 degrees right now. Uh, everything works like it should. Nice car. A nice sound to it. Real tight car. No shakes, shimmies, rattles, squeaks. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This guy goes by here. like it should. Nice and responsive. Nice and clean and clean. Nice clean shifts. Straight as an arrow car. Is that a road straight? It's a real nice sound to it. Not objectionably loud, but a real deep throaty sound. Whenever you get into it. Temperature's holding up about 165 degrees right where you'd hope to have it. Oil pressure's nice and strong. Fuel's still a little under half, and you're charging about 13.8 volts. Just the way it should do. Not a squeak, not a shake, not a rattle. It's a nice car. Well, we're underneath our 1968 teal-colored uh, SS-style Camaro. Uh, Really fantastic car. Of course, really great. New shocks in the front. Um, see the, well, you can't see it in the video, but I'm telling you, uh, aluminum uh, radiator. 
Uh, front disc brakes, the uh, rotors themselves are really, really nice and clean, no marks whatsoever on them. Calipers are nice and fresh, all new hardware with them also. All the lines are fresh and new. Wrapped set of long tube headers on this thing. I'm going to call them inch and three quarters. They're a pretty good size header. Uh, new tie rod ends. Uh, steering box looks to be original, but it certainly doesn't need replaced or anything. Gear reduction starter. The uh, original equipment style lines that they uh, use for pulling the uh, transmission fluid uh, going up front. Uh, someone's taken some care to put some uh, heat shield uh, close to the uh, header here. Even though they are wrapped, they have heat shield uh, on the uh, floor pads themselves. Subframes on this thing are absolutely flawless. They are as they were when they were new. There's not any deterioration, no rust, no corrosion, absolutely nothing. Zero zip, nothing. Uh, you can see there's no uh, drip whatsoever. It's a fresh rebuild on the uh, um, engine itself. Chrome oil pan. Uh, I'm going to call it a six quart pan. It looks like the, the standard conventional quart that style pan. And again, gear reduction starter with it. Sway bar in the front. Uh, floor pans in the front are original and rust free. Really, really nice condition. Original parking brake assembly is still intact and functional. Uh, where the, your floor pans transition onto the uh, rocker panels, uh, it, they're just like they were when they were new. I can't see anything. The pinch wells are all there. They're still all evident and nice and clean. Uh, no one's made any attempts to jack it up on the uh, inner fender panels. Um, no marks whatsoever on the front of these guys. Uh, turbo tranny in it. No leaks again. You can see everything's fresh and uh, nicely done. No leaks in the bell housing area. No leaks on the tail shaft either. Uh, it does have a uh, custom set of gauges in it so it has an electronic uh, sensor for the uh, speedometer and it has no leaks on it whatsoever either. I'm going to call these two and they call them two and an eighth inch maybe the yeah two and an eighth inch pipes off the uh, three inch collectors down to two and a half inch collectors down to two and an eighth inch uh, pipes that go into uh, two flow master mufflers. Look at these floorboards. I mean, absolutely as undisrupted and nice as you would ever find. No one's made any attempts to jack them up on the uh, floor pans through the years. Original brake line still going toward the rear. Original fuel line still on the uh, passenger side, just the way it should be. The drive shaft has a new U-joint in the front. You can see the tranny was all freshly done. Uh, new seals on it. Uh, new U-joint in the back also. Uh, drum brakes in the back. Discs up front, of course. Um, does have a set of uh, drums in the back. Monoleaf uh, rear suspension in this vehicle. It does have the staggered shock assemblies to it. The, um, the springs have a nice arch to them yet. Again, the uh, subframes in the uh, rear are the same as they were in the front here. Absolutely, totally undisrupted. No jack marks on them, no dents, no scale, no deterioration whatsoever. Absolutely none. And we have a 10 bolt heavy duty Chevy rear end in it. Um, gas tank is the original gas tank. It uh, has a ding right here. Somebody got too close to something, possibly pulling it onto a rack at some point during its service, during its uh, lifetime. But there is a ding on the uh, driver's side in the front part of the tank. Certainly nothing that uh, would dictate a change or that you would even, uh, you know, consider it in any way. It's just there. The lines going to the tank are the original lines yet. Uh, no leaks whatsoever on the rear differential. The um, pipes coming out are, uh, I'm going to call them two and an eighth also. And they transition back uh, and dump down because halfway between the uh, end of the car, the rear fascia, and the uh, rear wheel, the back of the rear wheel, just the way they should. Rear uh, valance on this thing has absolutely no pull marks whatsoever on it. It's nice and clean and clean and clear. Uh, some frames where they transition up over the uh, rear differential, there's no marks whatsoever on them. And again, the floor pans, original floor pans, have not been replaced. And just as nice as you'd ever want to find. It's really great condition car. Um, 
Apparently it has seat belts too because I can see the, the bolts coming through on the mounts. So apparently we got some seat belts in this guy too. Uh, I don't see anything at all underneath this vehicle. Uh, you just went through it with me. You can see there's no leaks whatsoever. The floor pans themselves are the original ones. They've not been replaced. There's no deterioration, no rust whatsoever underneath this vehicle. This is as clean a 68 Camaro that you will ever find, or for that matter, any 68 car. Uh, it's just a nice original uh, undercarriage on it. Uh, absolutely no deterioration, no dents, no dings. Um, torque boxes in the front where the, uh, the springs mount are just as clean and clear as they were when they were new. Everything is painted a nice flat black finish on it. Um, nice Camaro. If you're in the market for a uh, 68, uh, this is one you better take a look at. It's got a 383 in it. It's a uh, uh, real high-end car. It's got a lot of custom features to it. The custom gauges in it. Uh, the paint, the fit, the finish, everything on this vehicle is something that you really should take a look and consider. It's here at Hangster's Daytona Beach.